Um, how you feel impacts how you think, how you decide, how you show up. And one of the many things I like about our approach is that um, happiness is a wonderful emotion, but you can't always be happy. And we would say it's not helpful to be happy all the time. Um, if any of you were involved in social justice work, making this, you know, repairing the world as best you can, where does that come from? Probably many different places. But I'm a, I'm a, a fan in a way of both anxiety and anger. Not anger that becomes destructive, but anger that you manage really, really well to fight injustice and to make this world a better place. Uh, we know early on that people not who are depressed, but a little sad, you're more likely to find errors in a document. You think about that in your own work. Um, so each of these emotions and general areas is helpful. So there's another aspect here, which, um, and this is about emotional empathy. Someone comes to you, uh, they've experienced a loss in their family, a death in their family. Um, do you want to connect with that person? You know, the answer is, I'm sure is yes. But it's like, hey, how you doing? Hey, what's happening? Oh, sorry about the death in your family. That's not connection. That's not emotional empathy. So do you provide comfort and solace to people? So matching the emotions to the task and matching those emotions to those people that you're working with and ministering to, it's a skill.